This screencast is a basic overview of Visual VM. Visual VM is a new visual tool that integrates several JDK command line tools as well as a profiler for lightweight memory and CPU profiling. Visual VM is included in JDK 6, Update 7, and newer versions of the JDK. This screencast will demonstrate how to use Visual VM to obtain data about the GlassFish application server and the pet store web application that has been deployed to the server. First, we will start Visual VM. When Visual VM starts, it automatically detects all the Java applications that are running on the local system. You can see that Visual VM detects the GlassFish instance, the database server, and the tray application for starting and stopping GlassFish. Let's double click the GlassFish node to open the GlassFish tab. The Overview tab displays static information such as the process ID, host name, and main class. You can also see the JVM that GlassFish is running on and the Java home of that JVM. You can see the JVM arguments where you can verify that the startup script is passing the correct arguments to the JVM. In the System Properties tab, you can see additional properties of the application such as the domain name and the domain root. Let's log into the Application Server Admin Console and deploy the Pet Store application. Now we switch back to Visual VM and look at the Monitor tab for the server. The Monitor tab shows data about the application, such as the server uptime and information about the heap and the primgen space, classes, and threads. You can customize the tab to hide the graphs you're not interested in. For example, if you hide all the graphs except the heap, you can see a graph with detailed information about the heap, such as the max heap size. You can see there was an increase in the number of classes that the application loaded as part of the login process and deploying the pet store application to the server. You can see there was an increase in the size of the heap and the number of threads. If you click the Threads tab, you can easily see the state of the application threads. You can use the drop-down list to filter the threads, for example, to display only the live threads. You can double-click a thread to see additional details about a particular thread. You can click the Thread Dump button to get a thread dump for GlassFish to see what the application is doing. When you take a thread dump, a node for the thread dump appears in the Applications window under the node for the application. If you take more thread dumps, they also appear under the node. You can then save the thread dumps and open them later if you want to analyze them. You can get a heap dump by right-clicking the application node and then use the heap dump to track memory leaks in the application. You can see the contents of the heap in the heap walker. The heap walker displays the heap data graphically and enables you to easily see the contents of the heap, for example, the number of instances. You can click the column heading to sort the data. If you click on an instance, you can see details of the instance. For example, if you double click the string class, you can see all the individual instances. This instance of the string represents policy.url2. Here you can see the references to the instance to see what is holding the string in memory. Visual VM can also perform lightweight profiling of applications. In this case, to get information about the pet store web application that was deployed to the server, you can modify the default profiling settings to limit the classes that are profiled to only those in the pet store application. You can specify when the profiling should start, and in this case, profiling will start only when a thread enters a method in the pet store controller package. The instrumented classes are limited to the classes in the pet store application so that server classes are not included in the profiling. After you specify the settings, you click the CPU button to start profiling. 
Visual VM will instrument the specified classes in the application. This can take a little while if you're profiling a large application. Now that the classes are instrumented, you can start testing the Pet Store application by clicking on some links in the browser. If you switch back to Visual VM, you can see that Visual VM is getting live data from the application. You can take a snapshot if you want to see the call tree and see where the application is spending time. You can see if there are any problems in the application or where it can be optimized. Like thread dumps and heap dumps, a node for the snapshot also appears below the application node. If you close a tab, you can reopen it by double-clicking the node. You can create an application snapshot that contains all the captured application data. The application snapshot appears under the snapshots node in Visual VM. You can then analyze the snapshot later or share the data with other developers. This concludes this basic overview of Visual VM. Visual VM is part of JDK 6, Update 7, and newer versions of the JDK.